if you're like me and don't like reading long research papers, reports, essays, or thesis, but you have to, then Unriddle AI is the perfect tool for you. Let's see how it can save you the trouble of reading, understanding, and gathering information from complex documents. You can check it out yourself by using our link below. Normally, I would use ChatGPT for this, but the thing I like about Unriddle is that you can upload a single or multiple files, so no need for copying. Moreover, it keeps the tables and the charts which are significant in research papers. When you click on the Get Started button, you're automatically redirected to the dashboard, but you need to sign up to upload your document. When you finish this step, it gives you a list of keyboard shortcuts. Now this is really useful, at least for me. Just copy it and save it for later. It offers a list of prompts to get you started right there within the dashboard. I haven't seen this feature before in any other research tools, and I must say it's very practical. A big plus for Unriddle. Now I've uploaded my document and the AI suggests certain questions right from the start. You can click on them to try it out or just type your own. I understand the complexity of this task, but I'm not a patient person, so waiting longer than a minute for results, it's a bit of a drag. But I guess that depends on the, the complexity of the question. Three hours later. Moving on, I liked the autocomplete feature, which is something like a personal assistant in writing. It expands ideas, summarizes, and makes precise citations. This tool seems to be trained to understand the context of the text and links it to its base semantic meaning. In my school, this is called a nerd. The good stuff. It saves you a lot of time. It speeds up your learning and research process. No extensive reading necessary. Answers to all questions in a few seconds. It writes pretty good articles. Affordable. The bad stuff. A bit slow in analyzing and answering questions. My overall score is 4.1 out of 5. If you're any way involved in education, I guess this would be a great tool to have. Um, check it out by clicking our link below. Thanks for watching.